Good morning. Welcome back. We are outside today doing some fall related outdoor projects, some yard cleanup, yard work, a little bit of decorating in our back patio space because we're planning on hosting a couple of Halloween parties this year to really enjoy all of the decor that we have put up and our outdoor display and things like that. But I need to prep that space, decorate it, and get like some crafts and activities set up. And then I also want to make a few tweaks to the lighting, especially in our front yard display. We are so happy with how our front yard display turned out this year. It's just the best that we've ever done, but we have noticed that our regular landscape lighting, so we have these pathway lights, and then we also have some motion activated spotlights, all from the brand Lincoln, and we absolutely love them. They are such high quality for an affordable price but they're warm white lights and so this pathway lights up with that warm white lighting and it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb with all of the Halloween decor having like green and orange and purple lights and all of those lights are kind of smart lights they are Wi-Fi enabled and connected into my app and so I was browsing the app to see if I could change the colors and I noticed that there's some new sorry about that noise <laughs> some new holiday Halloween overlays that I was really excited about but I needed to get the colored versions of the lights first before I could try those out I've had them sitting over here in the direct sunlight and these ones are those pathway lights and then these are the motion activated spotlights so I have enough to replace the ones that we leave in our landscaping permanently but I also got some extras to highlight some of the bigger pieces of decor that aren't lit on their own and I'm just gonna test them out here and make sure that they're charged and working there's a little button on the bottom and you can see that you can change all of the colors and just test to make sure that they're good to go. And then on the pathway lights, the test button is up here on the top, but you can see that that also has a lot of different color options and lighting capabilities. So I think we're good to swap these out now. I made this so easy on myself by using the same brand. I'm not going to have to dig these up. I'm literally just going to replace the tops just like this. And then if I ever wanna swap them out to the warm white again, I can always do that. But I like this height. I like the way that they were installed before. So I'm just gonna keep them exactly as they are and just change out the top portions, which is the solar lights. One of the things I love most about these lights is the ease of installation and the fact that they're wireless, meaning I don't have to run any extension cords, change or charge any batteries, or deal with increased energy bills to enhance my seasonal decorating, which is honestly invaluable for a Halloween girly like me. It can be very costly to set up an elaborate display like this, not just in buying the actual decor, but also in lighting the decor. So it has been a complete game changer to have access to smart solar options like this that allow me to create the display and ambiance that I'm going for, but on a budget. The Lincoln Smart Solar Spotlights SL5 have advanced solar panels to boost charging efficiency by 30%, ensuring your haunted glow stays bright for up to 12 hours without increasing your energy bills. They are also weather resistant, built to withstand hard conditions, making them perfect for year-round use, and are equipped with advanced Bluetooth technology, allowing you to control multiple lights across large areas all through their app. Another one of my favorite features is that they are motion activated. This feature coupled with new in-app Halloween presets allows you to create a more interactive display with ghostly glow effects suddenly illuminating as trick-or-treaters approach. You can synchronize these Halloween lighting effects across all of your SL5 lights with just one tap or completely customize your lights by adjusting brightness, color, temperature, and flicker frequency. I wanted to show you what they look like at nighttime with the 
display fully lit and I just love these new preset options that they have. I've been playing around with them every single night trying out a different preset and then also adjusting the lights to customize them to my taste and the kind of ambiance that we're trying to create within our little haunted graveyard. Celebrate the Halloween season in style and let Smart Solar Spotlight SL5 add a spooky sparkle to your outdoor spaces. You can find the links to my favorite Lincoln Pathway lights and Smart Solar Spotlights down in the description box along with any current discount information. And I have just got to say that these small little details are always the ones that make the biggest difference, not just for Halloween decorating, but holiday decorating and outdoor displays in general. Having good landscape lighting, and this is good landscape lighting, completely customizable, interactive. It is just so fun and really sets it over the top from looking like we just put a couple of tombstones up to actually being like the destination trick-or-treat house. And that is thanks in large part to these Lincoln Smart Solar Spotlights SL5 and Pathway lights and their new Halloween presets. So don't miss out on your opportunity. Check the description box for links to all of these amazing landscape lights. And thank you so much to Lincoln for making the perfect lighting options for the Halloween girlies like me and also for partnering with me on today's video. But now we are going to head out to the Dollar Tree because I am doing some Halloween entertaining. We're having a couple of Halloween parties that we're going to be setting up for and doing some DIY Halloween decor for that in our back patio space but I needed to gather those materials so I was just browsing through looking for the materials that I needed but I also noticed that my local Dollar Tree was still very well stocked in both outdoor and indoor Halloween decor and I was a little surprised at some of the things that I was seeing in here and some of the options and feeling very inspired not just for the initial DIY that I had in mind when I walked in but also for a few more ideas that I am going to share with you as we decorate that outdoor patio space. But first I just needed to make my final selections and check out and then we're actually going to head back home and I needed to clean up and reset my patio before I could start decorating it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I went to Dollar Tree to get DIY supplies to make the tomato cage ghosts. These went viral a couple of years ago. There's a bunch of different versions. Most of them involve buying like a five to seven dollar styrofoam ball to put on the top of this and then a seven to twelve dollar sheet and then fairy lights that can be anywhere from five to fifteen dollars and all of a sudden they feel way less budget friendly and DIY than if you just purchase something similar at the store. So I kind of challenged myself to participate in the trend or the virality of this without going over the top, which is why I went to Dollar Tree. So I actually got each of these tomato cages from Walmart a couple of weeks ago for only $1 each, and I'm not going to do anything permanent. I won't be using any super glue, hot glue, making this into a permanent fixture. So I'll be able to reuse these supplies as well. We already have some styrofoam from some packing in like a 
a package that we received a while back. It's not in a ball shape, but I'm wondering how much that really matters. And then I got some tablecloths and creepy cloth from the Dollar Tree. Let me show you real quick. So I picked up the round version of their plastic white tablecloth. I just figured that would work out better for the shape of a ghost. Hopefully it's long enough, but then to kind of make it just a little bit more involved, I got this creepy cloth in the white creamy color instead of the black. And I think I'm gonna kind of drape that around too and make it look more, I don't know, realistic, as realistic as a ghost can look. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see if I can actually make something. Fingers crossed that it works out and it's actually a really budget friendly hack to a viral DIY that when you start breaking it down has historically not been quite so budget friendly. <laughs> The wind was the most difficult part of assembling these little ghosts. It was not my friend on this day. I feel like you can hear it in every single one of the clips where I'm talking and you can see it even now. It was just a blowing, but I was still able to get them all set up. I just used one of those round tablecloths and two of the creepy cloths per ghost. Now I definitely could have done more layers of that creepy cloth, maybe three to four would have been especially perfect for this larger one and two to three for the smaller one, but I was working with the materials that I had on the budget that I had and ultimately I think that it did turn out exactly how I wanted it to. I just had to do a little extra manipulating with the cloth itself, but I'm going to show you here in a second what they ended up looking like and you can let me know if you think that this is a good budget-friendly hack for the otherwise expensive viral DIYs that you can find on TikTok and Instagram. Okay, what do you guys think? Did I do it or did I miss the mark completely? I did go ahead and put them up on the deck box here just to elevate them so that they become something you can actually see and I didn't put fairy lights underneath there's nothing underneath but I do have an idea for lighting for this entire space so I'm gonna share that here in a little bit and obviously I added these little eyes and those actually came from some other Dollar Tree ghosts I have these ones for another DIY and they come with faces that I was going to take off of them anyway so I just peeled the eyes off of a couple of them and just stuck them right on there and they stuck pretty well because of the creepy cloth and the texture that it is like there's nothing up there with it it's just I just placed it up there and kind of made sure that it gripped the back of the cloth but what do you guys think are these the cutest little DIY ghosts that you've ever seen made for less than five dollars so then my DIY idea with these ghosts is that I would take off the black faces so they didn't show through keep them as is and use more creepy cloth to kind of drape around them and hang them from the solar string lights that we have up here just to have some more ghosts floating around so it doesn't look like we have these two just random ghosts here and kind of make a cute little theme of it so hopefully that works out these are like long almost like table runner in the shape that they are and if you make too many holes it just like gaps really big so I'm gonna try to kind of double it up manipulate the fabric as much as I can to look like a ghost on this and then see if I can figure out a way to even secure them up on those string lights and what that looks like
this was another really easy, really cheap, successful DIY. It was super simple to do this. I folded over the cloth on some of them and then just draped it on others, but consistently I would start by pulling the hanging thread through the creepy cloth and then just kind of manipulating that, draping it, and arranging it the way that I wanted to. And I was able to create like five different looking ghosts even though I was using the exact same materials and I was able to hang them from these string lights on our back patio and they just look so cool up there. They went a long way in creating that festive ambiance that I was looking for for around 10 bucks. really like this I think it turned out so cool like it looks like real little ghosts in the nighttime obviously it would look even better with lights around and things like that but how cool is that the only thing I'm considering right now is should I add the eyes back to these hanging ghosts as well I did save them they're in my pocket but then I don't have enough for every single one because I used two sets of eyes for these two ghosts I think I probably won't add the eyes if I'm being honest because I'm really afraid of heights and so then I would have to get back up there to put the eyes on and it was hard enough for me to hang them to begin with but now I'm gonna work on a centerpiece like on the dining table. I don't know if it's a centerpiece or just a little setup. We are going to be doing like a pumpkin painting makeover contest as one of the activities. And I got all of these tiny little mini pumpkins. They were super cheap at a local orchard. It's not a farmer's market, it's an orchard. So I went and got those in a couple of different colors and I don't know if it's like styles or what it is like I got two orange ones but one looks like this with all the ridges and then one looks like this which is more smooth and then I have some white ones that are a different color but then these have the ridges like those first orange ones so there are options for everyone and I think what I'm going to do is set it up as like almost a centerpiece tablescape here on the dining portion and then if I have some leftovers I will also set them around the little coffee table in the seating area because I know that we'll be doing this on like every surface because the dining table isn't big enough for that many people but I'm going to set that up I have a couple more leftover things from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to try to make it look as cute and fun as possible with the remaining materials that I have.
So for the lighting that I was talking about earlier, I have this idea. I want to use my last couple of pathway lights and then a couple of these spotlights. And with the pathway lights, I'm just going to put them into this bowl of pumpkins. I think that will be really cool that they'll charge all day long with their solar panel and then they'll just automatically turn on when the sun starts to go down and it'll light the bowl of pumpkins. And so that would be really fun ambiance, I think. And then with these spotlights, spotlights I'm going to set them so that the lights kind of cross paths in this area and so they'll light the uh, ghosts back there but then also kind of have like an eerie ambiance for these ghosts so I think I'm going to place one in this planter kind of facing that way and then one off in that landscaping facing more towards the ghosts. Okay, I think that I'm all done with the party setup on the patio and honestly, I just think that it's so cute. I know it's really simple ideas, a lot of DIYs and I was working on a very small budget for this but I still feel like it looks like it's going to be so much fun and I can't wait to see the way that it looks when the sun starts to go down and it gets a little darker out and those spotlights come on. I think that will just add so much to the ambiance. I do think that after I do some yard work and yard prep as well. I'm going to place the remaining spotlights probably somewhere near this seating area and then also the big tree back here. But for now I'm going to grab the rake and start raking all of the leaves in this area where we'll be playing and doing games. I'm going to rake those into a big pile, maybe even make a game out of it, and then also collect all of these sticks that have been blown down from this giant tree back here. Okay, so I've got this teeny tiny little pile now 
and I think what I'm going to do is just wait till the kids get home from school and we'll make it a family affair to like rake our entire yard front and back and pile all of the leaves right here and if we have a big enough pile then instead of putting them into the yard waste bin we'll use it as one of the games and just have the kids like jump into the leaves adults too if they want to because that's always so much fun and it's like a fall festive activity that costs no money and just a little bit of time to rake everything up so anyway clearly this pile is not big enough for that but hopefully with the four of us working at it collecting all the leaves from the entire yard we can make something happen here but this is going to be my stopping point for now so this is how the patio has turned out it looks like so much fun over the next couple of days i am going to fill up this mini fridge and then i'll prep some like festive halloween treats and things like that and then by the weekend we will be all ready to host a halloween party but i think that this is just so cute and i love that i was able to get this all done and it cost me like less than 30 bucks so anyway that is going to wrap up today's video i hope that you all enjoyed hanging out with me and some of these like halloween hosting ideas that i was able to share little diys and how you can enjoy the season on a budget don't forget to check out the links in my description box for the solar spotlights and pathway lights and check out those new halloween lighting presets because they are so cool once again a huge thank you to lincoln for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video and just providing the most awesome landscaping lighting in general and always stepping it up a notch for the Halloween obsessed girlies like myself but anyway and thank you guys so much for choosing to spend your time hanging out with me today I always appreciate it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy that always helps to support my channel and hopefully I see you all in the next one bye